Bonjour from Paris, where we are ending this year's gastronomic journey. Paris is a great place for food lovers with much dedication for quality and freshness in the markets and in the food stalls. Right in the center of Paris, in Place de la Madeleine, Fauchon is a gourmet food store heaven that takes the role of ambassador for the French culinary culture. The store is divided into many exciting sections. The section of smoked fish is outstanding. I've just been given a taste of a wild Atlantic salmon from the Adour that has been smoked. Extraordinary, delicious. For me, one of the highlights of Fauchon is the quality of their takeaway. It is an amazing selection of gourmet food like this superb salad of beetroot with apples and walnut, or there's a risotto with broad beans and peas, or there's some beautiful dishes like a millefeuille made with gravelax of salmon, or there's a dish of crab and egg. It is absolutely special. Fauchon makes some of the most stunning looking gâteaux and tarts in France. They create new shapes, new textures and new flavors. Their range changes all the time as they favor the mood of the season and the most beautiful fruits of the moment. The star patisserie of Fauchon is the éclair. They make éclairs with all kinds of different flavors and even sometimes with savory flavor. But today my pick is a wild strawberry with lime, which is absolutely delicious. And then one called Joconde with Mona Lisa, the picture of Mona Lisa printed on a thin layer of chocolate and an almond flavor. Miam, miam. This pear and almond tart bourdalou is one of the most popular cakes in Parisian pâtisserie. And talented young French chef Pierre Boyer thinks it's one of the easiest tarts to make at home. He makes the pastry by combining 250 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of butter, 80 grams of caster sugar, and 5 grams of salt. Then incorporates three egg yolks. Once the dough is formed, it is rested in the fridge for about one hour. This quantity makes two medium tarts. Pierrick rolls the pastry thinly and lines it into a battered ring. Parfait. Carefully, he trims the edges of the pastry with a small knife. Next, he makes the almond cream by mixing some softened butter with some almond meal, caster sugar, two eggs and 40 grams of cream. He spreads the almond cream over the pastry shell and garnishes the top generously with segments of poached pears. So, maintenant, on va le cuire dans le four à 160 degrés pendant approximativement 20 minutes. Pierrick dusts the tart with icing sugar and removes the ring and likes to garnish the top with fresh pears and spices. It looks festive. La tarte bandalou, voilà. It has been a great pleasure for me to travel this year's route of the Tour de France and to give you a taste of my wonderful native country. So until next year, au revoir. <laughs>